Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare two fantastic gaming chairs that I've checked out recently. The Secret Lab Titan, seen here in charcoal blue, the soft weave fabric variant of the mid-range chair from Secret Lab that's incredibly comfortable, well designed and very nice looking and the Noble Chairs Hero Black Edition this is a PU leather variant now these chairs are similarly priced and similar design features in them you'll see for example side by side they kind of look the same in some ways and they are quite different in others for example when I reviewed the Secret Lab Titan 2020 series. I talked about the various highlights of the design that included really intricate detailed stitching on the soft weave fabric. Now the Titan is available in a variety of different upholsteries. You can get PU leather, soft weave fabric and Nappa leather and it comes in all sorts of different colors. So I recommend checking out their website to see all the different options available. But the soft weave fabric version that I tested out is very nice very soft material especially that suede-esque material on the sides and as you can see the stitching is very nice too and it includes some other highlights simple little features like these magnetic clip-on covers that you install on the sides that might seem like something silly to talk about but what I wanted to demonstrate is just how the small details on the secret lab chair really stand out so for example when I was setting up the noble chairs hero I found the traditional covers where you then have to screw them in now this is obviously a minor gripe but only something you have to do when you initially set it up it's not something that's going to be a bother in the long term and it's fairly common on most other chairs that I've seen you do have to it, screw these covers in but I really thought that, that sort of detail with the magnetic clips on the secret lad titan was a nice little touch and shows the level of detail and thought that they've put into the design of their chairs in that it comes with something so simple to help the user but also a very small minor detail that most other companies probably overlook the other thing that I really liked about the secret lab Titan chair was that it came with this memory foam cushion which is by far the softest and most comfortable memory foam cushion I've ever seen in my life. Really soft and comfortable. It also has a very clever layer of cooling gel on the outside of it where your head will rest against it so you won't get hot when you're leaning on it. And when I first sat down in the chair and rested my head against it I was blown away by how comfortable it was. I was really surprised. I mean, I was I knew because I'd held it in my hands that it was really soft, but it was incredibly soft. Now, this seems like another small point to talk about, but I think it's worth discussing just the small details. Another thing with the Secret Lab title is it has a built-in lumbar support wheel that you can just roll and adjust. This is obviously really nice over other chairs that only have a pillow that you just attach to the back because it means that you can customize the lumbar support to your preference. Thought that was a really nice addition. Something you usually see in more expensive cars. Adjustable lumbar support, very nice. It is worth noting that the Noble Chairs Hero also has that built in lumbar support. And in my opinion, it's superior to that on the Secret Lab. So don't think that this video is all about the Secret Lab being better than Noble Chairs because it isn't. In other ways, Noble Chairs is a nicer chair. That lumbar support, same sort of thing simple wheel adjustment on the side but I found that maybe there's a small small bit of extra twist in it that gives it makes it stick out a little bit further for my back I found it to be a lot more comfortable obviously this is going to vary from person to person I have quite an odd shaped back so I found it very difficult to get comfortable in chairs anyway but I found this one gave a lot more support to my lower back and a longer comfort all day long both of them are quite firm in terms of the support they offer. Don't expect to sit in this and feel like you're sitting in a sofa. They're both quite supportive but ergonomically designed to give you the best support and release pressure during the day to give a really comfortable seating experience. Here you can see the lumbar support in action. It's quite hard to demonstrate because it doesn't jut out that much in the video but it does push into the lower back really comfortably and very nicely. Another thing that I really liked about the Noble Chairs Hero is this PU leather is incredibly soft. As I said, the Secret Lab Titan also comes with PU leather variants, so you can choose between those. Unfortunately, I didn't be able to test that, so I can't compare. The Noble Chairs Hero also comes with a little cushion for your back, so if you don't like the built-in lumbar support, you can use that as an option instead. 
It also has its own head pillow. However, unfortunately, it's not memory foam. Neither of the pillows included with Noble Chairs Hero are memory foam, so they're not as soft and comfortable as the one that's included with the Secret Lab. You can pay extra to purchase some memory foam pillows from Noble Chairs. I haven't been able to test those, so I can't say what they're like, but I do think it's a shame they didn't include them as standard, and they're quite a a bit of extra money as well so that was certainly a disappointment as I said when I sat down in the secret lab tight and put my head on that pillow I was blown away by it I was just wow I was wowed by it and then when I did the same with the noble chairs hero I was just disappointed it was a real shame now when it comes to the other features there's a lot of similarities between these two chairs both of them come with nice sturdy metal framed armrests You'll note on the Secret Lab one, there's plaques on other side. Again, small details that show the sort of dedication to crafting a high quality seating experience. But you'll note at the top, it has metal inner workings and they're 4D armrests. So both these seats offer the same 4D armrest technology. What that means is those arms will move in four different direction dimensions. So basically they go up and down forward and backwards as you can see here they twist in and out they move side to side as well sliding across the top so that you can adjust them to your personal preference and get them in just the right position they're also really easy to adjust so if you feel like during the day you want to move your arms around and adjust them a bit more that's really easy to do the padding on both of them is minuscule they're um, rubber topped essentially and they have offer a little tiny bit of padding to them so it doesn't offer a great deal of comfort however they're not like solid plastic either but i think really in terms of the comfort they offer they're both about the same there's not too much give in there you can see here push into it you're not getting much out of it in terms of relaxation and comfort however they are probably going to stand up over time one thing of note is that when installing the Noble Chairs chair, I found one of the arms wasn't installed as standard. For some reason it comes with one installed and one not. Bit weird. Another thing, so the initial setup is definitely easier on the Secret Lab Titan. Small gripe. But actually what this does show off is just how thick the base plate is on the arms of the chair and how you can install it and also slide it in and out so you can set the arms in the way you want and you can do this again with both chairs both of them i feel like the arms are solidly designed and well built if you put a lot of pressure on them you'll find that you'll keep going and going both these chairs are also designed to hold up quite a bit of weight the noble chairs hero for example can hold up to 150 kilograms whereas the titan holds up to 130 kilograms However, you can get the Titan XL, which will hold more if you're a larger person. But that's a lot of weight. That's a good amount of body weight. So the sturdy, well-designed, solidly built chairs that should last and last and last. As I said, Noble Chairs chair has the same sort of style. In fact, initially just glancing at the clip, you'd probably be given for thinking that the same arms exactly, apart from the Secret Lab logo isn't at the bottom there. But the, you can see the metal inner workings and the metals on the top. The Noble Chairs Hero does have wider arms with a slightly larger shape to them or a different design shape to them and I found them marginally more comfortable. There's not much in it, they're mostly the same. A lot of the features on both these chairs are similar, it's the small intricate details that make the difference. For example that built in lumbar support being slightly better on the Noble Chair and the supple PU leather. And then the magnetic strips on the outside of the chair during the installation process on the Secret Lab Titan. So it really isn't much in it. There's also not much in the price. They're quite similarly priced. So you're getting two very good chairs with very good comfort. And I think it's going to be down to your body shape and your personal preference in terms of the design style. So for example, the Noble Chairs Hero comes in a number of different styles and so does the Titan series. You can get some really brightly coloured one. Noble Chairs has just released a Doom themed edition of this chair which looks pretty special if you like Doom you're into that. Um, my, meanwhile Secret Lab also has a Cyberpunk 2077 edition which is in, all in yellow and very bright so there's a lot of different styles and designs to choose from. The standard black edition of the Noble Chairs Hero is far more understated, apart from that cushion that you can see at the top, and a few accents that include, for example, this metal handle on the side for adjusting the tilt on the rear. There's not much to tell that it's a Noble Chairs chair, whereas the Secret Lab has 
logo is emblazoned all over it. You'll see that again in a second. Again, that metal handle, for example, speaks to the quality of the chairs and the overall design of it. Here you can see what I was talking about with the Secret Lab chair. Basically, every element of it has either the Titan logo markings on it or 2020 series stitched into it. And it's very neat, intricate stitching, really detailed. Again, speaks to the quality of the design. The stitching on the Hero by comparison is a lot more subtle and understated. However, it still does have that same sort of level of quality to it. I think both of them look very nice. It's just gonna be a personal preference thing, whether you want to be showing off the chair that you're using, whether that even matters. If you're streaming, you might want people to see what you're using. So perhaps you want something a bit more snazzier. And if it's just you gaming on your own, you probably don't care. Maybe you want something that's understated and doesn't look like a gaming chair. Then the Noble Chairs Hero Black Edition may well be for you instead. It's hard to do justice on the video just how soft and supple that PU leather is. But it's very comfortable to sit on and a very nicely designed bit of material. I was really surprised by it. Especially trying out other PU chairs in the past faux leather. Both of them, as I said, have real leather options available that are a lot more expensive. But if you have the cash to splash and want something a little bit fancier, then that's an option. Here you can see some more close-up shots of the stitching on the Hero, and you can see, again, very close, detailed stitching. I doubt either of these chairs is going to let you down over time. Decent warranties on those chairs also show just how much faith the companies have. These are two companies that are dedicated to creating fantastic incredibly comfortable seating experiences so i don't think you're gonna have an issue with these chairs over time secret labs has a five-year warranty on theirs which is just nuts even on the back though that secret lab logo is present basically has yeah, every angle as i said before now showing off some of the recline features for it the base on the secret lab titan tilts back and forth and you can also lean quite far back. When I did a comparison with the Corsair T2 Road Warrior, I showed how that chair went even further back than this. You could basically lay completely flat. This one doesn't do that, but it is still quite comfortable. Other people have noted that it takes a bit of time to wear the Secret Lab Titan in. I do feel like it is perhaps a bit stiffer. The materials are quite stiff. As I said, though, neither of these chairs is potentially designed to be uber comfortable, like it would be just plunking yourself down onto a sofa or a lazy boy recliner. They're meant to give you that support during the day, so they are stiff in some ways, but will still have that soft material over the top of them as well. The wide bottom base also means that you can spread your legs out nicely and you're not being pushed constantly by the sides. Obviously, this is gonna vary depending on the size and shape of your body. It's really hard to talk about the overall comfort of a chair because it's going to vary so much between your height and weight and shape of your spine, for example. But for me, I found both of them to be very nice, but there is a slight bit more comfort in the Noble Chairs Hero from my personal point of view. However, the Secret Lab probably looks a bit nicer, so it's a real toss-up between those two. And something like the memory foam cushion makes all the difference as well. One thing I haven't talked about in great depth is the wheels, which might seem like a small point. Both of these chairs have large wheels on them, double casters, that basically mean you don't slide and slip across the floor. Nice solid build that should last and last as well. Quiet wheels that don't move around too much. Now here, showing off the Noble Chairs Hero and the recline that you've got on that. Again, doesn't go completely flat, but it does lean back quite a bit so if you feel like you just want to have a little rest just pull that lever and lean back on it the base again tilts back and forth up and down so you can adjust these chairs both of them and in similar ways in all manner of directions until you find that comfortable spot and you can adjust the tension with the wheel underneath too so you can set that so really both of them are so very similar i would highly recommend either of them to anybody but it's really going to be down to a personal preference and what you like. And for the price, you're getting a very good quality chair from either brand. Really nicely designed. Very comfortable to sit on. Hours and hours of good fun gaming. 
Hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Be sure to check out the description where I'll include the specs. And don't forget, if you're going for a secret lab chair, check out their website because they have three different variants, the Omega, the Titan, and Titan XL, which offer different setups depending on the size and shape of your body. So they're based on your height and weight to give you the best seating experience and the most comfortable one. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.